Okay, I don't always agree with Fox, but this is an interesting story. The manger and a banner reading Merry Christmas were removed from a public area of a VA hospital in Texas after someone complained about overly religious and offensive decorations. They ruined our decorations, Vietnam veteran Ethel Holloway told television station Kent. They threw them out. Click here to join Top American Dispatch, a must-read for conservatives. Holloway said she had been putting up decorations at the Audie Murphy VA hospital for 33 years without any problems. This year, her ill tied banner turned out to be problematic. Well, there's a war on Christmas going on right now, that's why it's different. And plus, we've allowed all these ref supposed refugees in from the Middle East who hate Christianity and want to destroy Christianity. So what do you expect when stuff like this happens? Continuing. They literally took pieces from the middle of a whole train set because the middle said Merry Christmas, helper Grace Martinez told a television station. The South Texas Veterans Healthcare System admits they removed not only Galloway's Merry Christmas banner, but also a manger along with a specific scripture decoration. During the removal of the manger and specific scripture decoration, the Merry Christmas decoration was accidentally removed and damaged, read the statement from the major Accidentally Fox removed? Group. Okay. The remaining decorations were removed by the decoration owner and her representatives. The VA hospital said they have offered to reimburse her for the damaged decorations. We acknowledge that the corrective action should have been to display the faith-specific holiday decoration along with multiple religious faith symbols. The statement read, We are no. only ensuring that our staff are educated and aware of the national policy and how it relates to decorations throughout the facility. So the VA destroy the brave veterans Christmas decorations, and their response is whoops. Are so basically what they're doing is rewriting history right now. The faith-specific symbols were displayed in a public area without other specific religious symbols being included. Their statement read, I'd like to know what happened to the manger scene and the other overly religious and offensive decorations. Were they returned to donors? Were they stored in a closet? Were they tossed to the curb? The VA hospital told me they have no idea what became of Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus. There was no room for them in the or apparently the Audie Murphy VA hospital. It's not the first time the VA has tried to cleanse its hospitals of Christmas cheer. A VA hospital in Salem, Virginia banned Christmas greetings, religious carols, and Christmas trees from all public areas earlier this year. After hospital employees staged a revolt, the VA relented and agreed to allow Christmas trees, provided the trees were accompanied by symbols of Kwanzaa and Kanaka. However, hospital employees are still prohibited from wishing veterans a Merry Christmas or playing religious Christmas music, Ridiculous. even in their personal workspace, according to the Beckett Fund. I like jingle bells as much as the next person, but the government can't ban religious Christmas carols any more than it can ban ugly sweaters or eggnog, said Christina Ariaga, executive director of the Beckett Fund. It's not the world we live the in Beckett now. Fund. The Religious Liberty Advocacy Group recently awarded the Sale VA Hospital its Ebenezer yeah, Award for the most awesome. ridiculous affront to the Christmas and Conica seasons. Our veterans stare down the most hostile threats to freedom the world has ever known, Ariaga said in a statement. But I'm pretty sure the words Merry Christmas are not one of them. Amen, ma'am. I reached out to the VA hospital one last time to find out what was so overly offensive about the manger scene. I'm still waiting on a reply. You won't get one. But I suspect it had something to do with a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. Yeah, remember that. Well, I don't fully agree with everything in this. It's just very interesting, the world that we're in right now. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah.